Hello, this is Robbie Sko, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to arm different MIDI tracks in Ableton Live using this Logity UMI3 MIDI foot controller. Alright, so let's talk about how to set up this foot controller in such a way that really minimizes the risk of this cueing something unexpectedly. Although I'm using the UMI3, a similar process could be done using the best foot pedal that suits your needs. I'll leave a link in the description to an article outlining some of the best MIDI foot controllers currently available. The first step you can take is to double check the MIDI settings in Ableton. Control comma or a command comma on Mac will bring up the preferences, then select the link MIDI tab. For the MIDI preferences, turn the remote on for your foot pedal or whatever you're using to change patches and keep track and sync off. Keep track on only for the MIDI controllers that you want to be able to play notes with on stage or in the studio. In this case, I have track on for my key studio so that it can play notes and not accidentally trigger remote commands and track off for the foot controller so that it will only be sending remote commands. So one thing we might do is go into our MIDI from and select the keyboard that we're using and the channel that those notes come in on. All right, so now I'm hitting control M to go into MIDI arm mode. Now I click on the arm of channel one and then with my foot pedal, I press one. Clicking on arm for two and then with my, now with my foot, I press two. Clicking on three, and with my foot, I press button three. All right, and now I'm able to switch between these different channels with my feet, so it doesn't affect my playing. Excellent. All right, so now you should be all set to switch virtual instruments on the fly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for setting up your MIDI foot controller. If you have, please consider subscribing to get more tips for improving your performances and your workflow in the studio. This is just one small example of using MIDI foot controllers, but there's a load of possibilities. If you have any questions, or even if you have any interesting ways you're using MIDI controllers, please leave your comments below. Thank you, and enjoy. Peace.